Before we start the presentation, I just want to ask from you, did you check your place before you come to the here? Uh, did you drain your all the water buckets? Did you drain your wash basins? Did you drain your bathtubs? Did you close your bathroom? If not, just take 15 seconds from my time and give a call, check whether your child is safe at your place. Please do it before I start my lecture. Please. I will give 15 seconds before this is Sri Lanka, this is this is where we are. So, super safety, Sri Lanka, survival swimming and water safety education among Sri Lanka school children. I am Samit Tilna, representing Sri Lanka Life Very good morning all of you. Uh, as we know, Sri Lanka is the 15th country in from all around the world with the drowning deaths, nearly 750 people died each and every year. From these 750, nearly 100 kids are drowning in between ages of the age 1 to 14 each and every year in Sri Lanka. So it is an, a hazard as well as once we come with the WHO says each and every child who near the water is an hazard. So we as an organization are uh, taking the three primary things uh, why these school children facing for this situation, why this much of drowning much more in Sri Lanka, mainly lack of water safety knowledge, lack of using of the safety equipment, not aware of safe places. From this practice. What we need and what we aim in is to give a survival ability to each and every kid. This is not talking about the competing. This is all about survive your life. If you are a survive or if you are trained for survive in your in kids age, then you try to practice each and once you become an elder, even that you try to do it, practice because perfect practice made perfect always. And we are trying to reduce the, all the drowning deaths in Sri Lanka through the empowered the kids. This is the, the method of this training was uh, uh, come up with and the 12 sessions. Within these 12 sessions, we have 10 learning sessions and pre and post uh, examining two sessions. Each and every session have one and a half hours and 25 students only be taking for the one class. All the students are in age 10 to 16 and this is a fully a trained a program from Australia. Life Saving Victoria is the resource for this training program and each and every session, it means each and every 12 session completed they as well, currently we are running five locations in Sri Lanka from the top Kilinochi, Venapur, Benthota, Ambilipitiya and Matara. Those are the currently training locations for swim for safety program running in Sri Lanka. In this training, we try to empower kids in two ways. One is skills. They need to know how to get into water, how to get out from the water, moving through water, swim under water, floating, sculling, uh, rotating. Rotating means if you fall into the water face down within 3 seconds, they can survive by self. Take their face upwards within 3 seconds and swimming. This is not training a competition swimming. This is all about survival. How to survive their self from a water. That's all. This is not about competitive. And from uh, the knowledge wise, we are trying to empower their knowledge on basic water safety knowledge. 
recognizing and identifying hazards then safe uh, rescue methods so mainly we try to teach them talk rescue throw rescue and reach rescue that's all these are mainly non contact rescue you no need to get into water to rescue someone from these methods you can talk to someone you can throw whatever you have a flotation device to someone you can put anything a log or leaf whatever you can throw to someone and you can pull the person you can reach the person so you no need to get into the water and you need to uh, finally we try to teach them or empower them with the drsa that's the basic uh, primary things need to identify the danger then uh, check in the response of the patient and call for the ambulance open the airway those kind of primary things that we trying to teach them within this 12 sessions uh, we run up the program starting on 2016 actually we never thought to do an a research based program so we run up the program after one year time we collect few data and we try to see how our progress was so it was nearly 1000 kids a join with us from 1000 kids nearly 768 kids were uh, completed uh, come up with the 12 sessions because it's must to join in 100% uh, attendance uh, to complete the session uh, but currently from 2016 to right now more than 5000 kids were trained with us uh, so this is their skill level and how their skill level were improved and this is the recommendations of what we can do for the further uh, we need a, a good locations we need we can uh, come up with that cost effective uh, locations Uh, if even that when we using a pool it is in a really costly for a program but that's why if you see most of the pictures are come up with the rivers and the lakes in sri lanka we use uh, all of these locations because it's a cost effective but we are thinking if the schools can come up with this program or if the uh, education ministry or the sports ministry who can come up with this kind of a service, all programs yes we can do much more things to the society uh, so uh, my conclusion is uh, if we empower the kids if we empower the kids with the survivors definitely they will survive otherwise if we losing a kid it means the country losing the human then no one will keep in your mind there are no 50 50 options in drowning because if you hit in an accident if you make up with complete and a road accident yes you can remove your limb you can lose your limb but you live but there are no 50 50 options in drowning if you drown yes you have two options either you survive either you die that's all so that's why we are thinking about the swim for safety program is right now it is within the 76.3 of, of accuracy with this program we trying to uh, encourage this program to all of the sri lanka so this is my references uh, and thank you very much